Okay, we are here with Butterfly. Butterfly, how are you doing today? Pretty good. So, how long have you been on the streets? Uh, this time since March uh, 15th of what's, this year. What's the longest you did on the streets? Um, about two years. A year, well, about a year and a half. And then I was off for two and a half years. And the person I was with uh, dropped out of a heart attack March 11th. And ended up back out here. Up this year? Yes. Um, how long before then was you homeless? Um, for about a year and a half prior to that, uh, I took care of my grandfather. He passed away. My family went stupid. <laughs> so is this how you provide every day standing out here? Yes. Do you, do you make good income doing it? Some days it is, then some days it's hard to get five or ten dollars. So being a woman out here, how's that been? Um, it's hard. Um, most women out here will choose to get with a guy and stuff, and I don't do that. I'm out here by myself alone. You know, I do have people on my camp that watch over me, but you know, overall, I'm you know, a loner. <laughs> So that's a good thing you have people that watch you because yeah. the last few I've talked to, they don't have nobody and it's been pretty rough on them yeah, out here. Yeah, yeah, I have a father and a son that are in my camp with me and they've been friends for uh, several years now. So. so what type of drugs is this from that has caused you to be on the streets? Well, this time it wasn't okay. drugs. Um, before it was heroin. Um, and like I said, this time, I was with had a heart attack and died and you know I would have been out here if it wasn't for that. So have you reached out for any help to try to get off the streets? Um I have a little bit. Uh, I spoke with one of the outreach and you know kind of touch and base with them but there's not a whole lot of help. People think because we're the capital city we have all this help and there's really not. Um, I knew a gentleman that was a double lady in PT and blind that was homeless and couldn't get help. So has any churches stopped and tried to talk to you? Uh, yeah, there are several churches that stop, you know, every week and feed us and, you know, give clothes if they have it and blankets and, uh, you know, and pray and stuff. So are you from Columbus? Yes, born and raised. Born and raised Actually, here? Actually Hilliard. Actually Hilliard? Yeah. Okay, um... So I'm, I'm the, you know, classic, this could happen to anybody. Yeah. yeah. So you graduated and every yeah, good so thing I'm, like that. Uh, actually a certified medical assistant phlebotomist. Wow. So, yeah, okay. uh, I've ran two companies in my life. You know, uh, a lot of people assume because, of, you know, people are out here, we're not educated, you know, we're all on drugs or alcohol or... Everybody's got a story, and I try to tell people, you know, just stop and ask. Instead of, you know, yelling the obscenities and stuff like that. And so you get a lot of problems out here while you're out here? Um, yes and no. Um, sometimes you'll get the people, you know, go by, get a job, and, you know, stuff like that. And uh, then the one on is, you know, because I'm a female, guys think it's okay to pull up and, you know, proposition me and not to proposition themselves. So you deal with that a lot, but yes. I take it. Yeah. Probably a lot of regular guys too, like yeah. people who Yeah, just, I have nice cars, you know, from yeah. you and it, it just, you know, and, and old men. <laughs> oh, old men yeah. a lot. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you get a lot of them running around yeah. here. So, have you been downtown to any of the women's shelters, like, to re reach out and for them to help you at all? Um, I tried a, a while back, like in 2017, one of the shelters, I think it was the YWCA, and um, I didn't care for all the drama and everything that was, you know, from the other people there. So, it, I had stuff stolen, you know, just all kinds of stuff to me. I'm almost safer being out here than... So, you have the people watch your stuff when you leave, or do you have to bring it with you? I bring my, uh, the valuable stuff. 
but you know clothes and stuff that's in the tent but you know you have others out here you know in the same boat I am homeless that will ransack your tent and steal from you and so what's the most you've made standing out here in one day um well down on Wilson uh, Broad uh, March 27th I made a hundred dollar bill uh, and it was the day after my birthday and I was fine you know it's my birthday weekend and that day everything combined was like $150 so I ended up you know getting a room and it, you know taking <laughs> so is that do you have to stand out here eight hours a day how, what, how many hours do you say you're uh, out here it all depends on the things that I need that day and how much I need you know need to make um it can be you know 10 minutes it could be eight hours right yeah so how long have you been standing on this same corner um today or, or no like do you have issues with other homeless people on, uh, on the same spot not really um i'm considered one of the ogs out here um so at first when i came back out here there was a little bit of issues but, you know, I talked to some of the newer ones and stuff and explained, look, this is how we've done it, you know, take turns and stuff. That way, everybody has a chance to, you know, get what they need, whether it be drugs, whether it be, you know, batteries or propane or food or, you know, female products, whatever. Okay, so this last time you've been out here basically since 15, so that's seven years? Uh, yeah, on and off. Uh, well, because uh, I was off from uh, like 19, tw uh, right around 2020 to 2022, I was off the street for about two years, uh, a little over two years. Uh, this time I've been out here six months. Uh, prior to that, um, I, I come back out on the street after my grandfather died. I came back out late 18. To, so it was about a year, I guess, from 18, basically through 19. So have you been hurt at all since you've been out here? Yes. You have been? Yeah, I've been attacked several times. Um, but it, 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 there's several rates, uh in Wilson Park uh, back here. Uh, and, you know, uh, back in 17, I got attacked and raped under the Wilson Road Bridge right there. Wow. And, um... Did yeah, the cops do anything about it? Not, nothing really they could do. Um, but, and then, uh, in 19, I was walking the path. I was actually coming to Speedway, and, um, guys came out of the woods and hit me in the back of the head with a pipe, thinking they were going to get money. They got, like, $4. All over four dollars. Yep. Um, so is that something you deal with the constantly as people trying to grab you or hurt you? Um, not really. Um, and I've gotten smart. I can carry knives, and you know I've gotten to the point that you know if I have to use it, I will. It's either you know, me or them. I have a 25-year-old son, a 28-year-old daughter, and two grandkids that are a year and a half. So. You know, I, I have to, you know, if somebody's going to come after me, I'm going to do what I have to do to protect myself. So, uh, before your husband died, how, how long was he, was he with you on the streets the whole time? No, since no, no, we, uh, we were all, I was off the street. I met him in, uh, like, late 19, and uh, we got together. I moved in with them, like I said, late 19, early 2000, or 2020, and uh, I was off the street in a house and stuff for uh, more than two years, and then uh, until he passed. Okay. So. Well, thank you, Butterfly. Uh, I wish you the best. I hope everything stays safe out here and everything goes well. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.